Hello everyone. I welcome you all in the online session of Teaching and Learning of English Language. I'm Kavita Sabrawal, working as English mistress at Government Senior Secondary Smart School for Boys Raho in District SBS Nagar. Dear students, today we are going to recite and learn a beautiful patriotic poem. My dear soldiers from the textbook of class 8 we will be doing some exercises also so please keep your books and notebooks handy te aao vadde ha apne ajj de topic wal my dear soldiers written by dr apj abdul kalam dear students I'm sure you must have heard the name of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Ona di picture tusi screen te dekh sakde ho. Te bachcho is to pehla ki assi poem padhni shuru kariye. Aao poet bare kuch jankari prapt kariye. Dear students, APJ Abdul Kalam was an Indian aerospace scientist. who served as the 11th president of india from 2002 to 2007 he was known as the missile man of india pyare vidyarthiyo dr apj abdul kalam bharat de 11ve rashtrapati rahe han ohna nu missile man of india de na naal vi jaaneya janda hai so dear students here i have got some new words and their meanings for you te bachcho poem nu changi tarah samjhan de layi ehna shabdan de arth ate ohna di pronunciation aani bahut zaruri hai so are you ready let's get started the first word is defender ਪਾਫ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲਾ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਅ ਪਰਸਨ ਹੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਟਸ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਵਰਡ ਇਸ ਬਾਰਡਰ ਪਾਫ ਸਰਹੱਦ ਇਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਦ ਲਾਈਨ ਦੈਟ ਡਿਵਾਈਡਸ ਟੂ ਕੰਟਰੀਜ਼ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਵਰਡ ਇਸ ਡੀਟ ਬੱਚਿਓ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਅਰਥ ਹੈ ਕੰਮ ਜਾਂ ਕਾਰਜ ਅ ਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟ ਸਮਬਡੀ ਡਸ windy pav tej hawa wala with a lot of wind let's move forward the next word is scorching pav chulsa den wala very hot sweltering pav bahut zyada garam very hot in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable te bachcho sade kol agla shabd hai treading paav kise khaas nuhar nal turna walking in a specified way next word is marshes paav daldal an area of low land that is always soft and wet because there is no way for the water to flow away to te bachcho sade kol agla shabd hai surveillance pav nigrani the act of carefully watching a person or a place vibrate pav tharakna ja hilna to move or make something move from side to side very quickly and with small movements te bachcho e san kuj nave shabd te aao agge vadiye let us read the poem my dear soldiers soldiers pav sanik Let's read 
O defenders of borders, you are great sons of my land. When we are all asleep, you still hold on to your deed. Windy season or snowy days, or scorching suns, sweltering rays. You are there guarding all the time awake, treading the lonely expanses as yogis, climbing the heights or striding the valleys, defending the desert, guarding the marshes, surveillance and seas and by securing the air. Prime of your youth given to the nation, when the chimes of my land vibrate your feet, we pray for you, brave men. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you all. And the poem is written by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. So, students, I hope you enjoyed it. Let's move forward. Now, Let's understand the poem stanza wise. Ao poem no samjandi koshish kariye. Dear students, you can see the first stanza on the screen. Let's read it out. O defenders of borders, you are great sons of my land. When we are all asleep, you still hold on to your deed. Windy season or snowy days or scorching suns, sweltering rays. You are there, guarding all the time awake, treading the lonely expanses as yogis. But you, ehna satra vich, kavi parat desh te rakhwale, parti sainika da gun gaan karde hoi kenda hai, कि जदों असी सारे अपने करा विच चैन दी नींद सो रहे हुंदे हां ता साडे बहादुर सैनिक सरहद दी रखवाली कर रहे हुंदे हन हर तरह दे मौसम विच हर वेले उस चेती दे नाल इकल्ले ही पैरा दिंदे रहंदे हन सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड here is the second stanza. Let's read it out and try to understand. Climbing the heights or striding the valleys, defending the desert, guarding the marshes, surveillance in seas and by securing the air, prime of your youth given to the nation. When the chimes of my land vibrate your feet, we pray for you, brave men. May the Lord bless you all. The pyaare bachyo ina satra vich kavi kehanda hai ki parat da koi vi kona ehna sainika di rakhwali to vanja nahi hai. Fir chahi oho uche pahaad hon ja kaatiya registan ja dal dal. Parat de samudri ate hawaii raste vi Ena di nigrani hit, Hamesha rende han. Bahadar Sanik, Apani par joven javani vi, Desh de nam likhdinde han. Kavi Sanikanu shardanjali paint karda hoya. Ona di Bahadurida, Gun gaan karda hoya kenda hai, Ki desh ona da bohot tanwadi hai, Ate ona di salamati lay. Rabbage Sada Ardas Kardahe. So, dear students, this was the meaning of the given stanza. Now, let's move forward. Dear students, let me tell you the summary of the poem. The poem, My Dear Soldiers, has been written by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. This poem is a tribute to the efforts and sacrifices of the armed forces of India. The soldiers protect the borders of the country 
in all seasons. They sacrifice their youth for the nation. They are very brave and we appreciate their victories. Pyaare bachyo, is kavita which Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam ne Parthi Sena nu, Parthi Sainika nu, ohna de balidana nu ate ohna di bahaduri nu shirdanjali paint kitti hai. O kende han ki saade desh te sainik apni jaan di parwaa kitte bina chauvi kente desh ti surakhya lai tat par rende han. So, let's move forward and Pyaare Bacheo is poem nu asi ik var fir padange te hun ikathe milke padange. Let's read the poem once again and together. So, let's start. O defenders of borders, you are great sons of my land. When we are all asleep, you still hold on to your deed. Windy season or snowy days, or scorching suns, sweltering rays. You are there guarding all the time awake, treading the lonely expanses as yogis, climbing the heights or striding the valleys. Defending the desert, guarding the marshes. Surveillance in seas and by securing the air. Prime of your youth, given to the nation. Wind chimes of my land vibrate your feet. We pray for you, brave men. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you all. So that's wonderful students, very good. Let's move to the next slide. So, bachyo hun napa kuj post reading activities karange ta ki asi poem nu hor vadiya tang nal samaj sakye. The first is learning to read and comprehend. The question is read the stanza and answer the questions. Pyaare bachyo, poem diya kuj laina dittiya huiya han. Ona de adar te asi ditte hoye prashna de uttar dene han. The first stanza is, O defenders of borders, you are great sons of my land. When we are all asleep, you still hold on to your deed. Windy season or snowy days, or scorching suns, sweltering rays. You are there, guarding all the time awake, treading the lonely expanses as yogis. The Aubachyo Hun Prashnaval Vadie. The first question is Name the poet of the poem. My dear soldiers, ते प्यारे बच्चियों तुसी अपनिया कापियां ते इना प्रश्ना दे उत्तर लिखन दी कोशिश करनी है. The second question is, who are being referred to as defenders of borders? Let's move to the next slide. Third. How do these great sons serve their motherland? Fourth, what kind of weather conditions do the soldiers have to face? Now let's check the answers. Dear students, here I have got the answers for you. Name the poet of the poem, my dear soldiers. Answer, the poet is Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. The bachyo dusra prashna, who are being referred to as defenders of borders? Answer, the soldiers are the defenders of borders. Our give 
हाउ डू दीज ग्रेट सन्स सर्व दियर मदरलैंड तो बच्चे इस प्रश्न का उत्तर है दे सर्व दियर मदरलैंड बाय गार्डिंग द बॉर्डर्स डे एंड नाइट इन ऑल सीजनस आओ देखिए कि चौथे प्रश्न का की उत्तर होगा What kind of weather conditions do the soldiers have to face? Answer: They face scorching summers and snowy winters. They also face windy and rainy seasons. I will give a dear bit you. And dear students, hun sade kol hai second stanza. ते उस ते आधारित प्रश्न लेट्स डू इट क्लाइंबिंग द हाइट्स और स्ट्राइडिंग द वैलीज डिफेंडिंग द डेजर्ट गार्डिंग द मार्शिज सर्वेलेंस इन सीज एंड बाय सिक्योरिंग द एयर प्राइम ऑफ योर यूथ गिवन टू द नेशन विंड चाइम्स ऑफ माय लैंड वाइब्रेट योर फीट We pray for you brave men may the lord bless you all Aao bachcho dekhiye ki prashn kehde han First whom has the poem been addressed to What do these great sons sacrifice for the nation And the third question is what is the intention of the poet Fourth, explain. Wind chimes of my land vibrate your feet. Dear students, let's check the answers. First, whom has the poem been addressed to? Is the uttar hai? The poem has been addressed to the Indian soldiers. Second, what do these great sons sacrifice for the nation? Answer: They sacrifice their youth and lives for the nation. And dear students, the third question is: What is the intention of the poet? And the answer is: The poet. intends to pay tribute to the sacrifices of the indian armed forces fourth explain wind chimes of my land vibrate your feet the answer is it means that even the winds of the poet's country appreciate the victories of the brave soldiers so dear students the next post reading activity is related to vocabulary expansion and the question is write synonyms of the following words dear students synonyms are the words with same meaning Please write the answers only. No need to write the questions. So let's start. First, very hot. Second, protect. Third, protector. Fourth, monitoring. And here I have got the answers for you. Let's check. Very hot. Scorching. protect defend protector defender monitoring surveillance so dear students please check your answers check your spellings also i hope you have written let's move forward आओ बच्चों अगले प्रश्न वाल वधिए एडजेक्टिव्स आर गिवन राइट देयर नाउन्स प्यारे बच्चों जेड़े शब्द तुसी 
ਸਕਰੀਨ ਤੇ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਹੀ ਐਡਜੈਕਟਿਵਸ ਹਨ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਊਨਸ ਦੈਟ ਇਸ ਦ ਨੇਮਿੰਗ ਵਰਡਸ ਲਿਖਨੇ ਹਨ ਦ ਵਰਡਸ ਆਰ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਐਕਟਿਵ ਰਿਚ ਵਾਈਸ ਲੋਇਲ ਕੇਅਰਫੁਲ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਹੈਪੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਫੇਥਫੁਲ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਗਿਵ ਯੂ ਸਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਰਾਈਟ ਦ ਨਾਊਨਸ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਵਰਡਸ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਰਿਪੀਟਿੰਗ ਦ ਵਰਡਸ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਐਕਟਿਵ ਰਿਚ ਵਾਈਸ ਲੋਇਲ ਕੇਅਰਫੁਲ ਕਾਈਂਡ happy good faithful i know this exercise is very easy for you you all are very intelligent students and i hope you have written the answers so let us move forward here i have got the answers for you please check ਤੇ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਬੱਚਿਓ ਬਹੁਤ ਧਿਆਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਨਸਰਸ ਚੈੱਕ ਕਰਨੇ ਹਨ ਸਪੈਲਿੰਗਸ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਧਿਆਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਲਿਖਣੇ ਹਨ ਫਰਸਟ ਇਜ਼ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਐਕਟਿਵ ਐਕਟਿਵਨੈਸ ਰਿਚ ਰਿਚਨੈਸ ਵਾਈਸ ਵਿਸਡਮ ਲੋਇਲ ਤੇ ਲੋਇਲ ਦਾ ਨਾਊਨ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਲੋਇਲਟੀ ਕੇਅਰਫੁਲ ਕੇਅਰਫੁਲਨੈਸ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਕਾਈਂਡਨੈਸ ਹੈਪੀ ਹੈਪੀਨੈਸ ਗੁੱਡ ਗੁੱਡਨੈਸ ਫੇਥਫੁਲ ਫੇਥਫੁਲਨੈਸ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਯੂ ਮਸਟ ਹੈਵ ਰਿਟਨ all the spellings very carefully dear students now let's learn to listen and speak and for this i have got a beautiful rhyme for you te pyare bachcho main har line do var bolangi pehli var tusi sunoge te dusri var mere naal naal bolungi so are you ready let's get started we are indians bold and free we are indians bold and free we are indians we love our country we are indians we love our country we will guard it and keep it free we will guard it and keep it free jai hind jai hind jai hind jai hind jai hind jai hind wonderful very good students aao ek var fir milke is rhyme nu gaiye we are indians bold and free We are Indians we love our country we will guard it and keep it free Jai Hind Jai Hind Jai Hind Jai Hind Jai Hind Jai Hind Very good students now let's move forward here i have got home assignment for you please note it down होम असाइनमेंट अपनी कॉपीज दे विच लिखो द क्वेश्चन इज डिस्कस विद योर पार्टनर मेक अ माइंड मैप एंड राइट अ फ्यू लाइंस अबाउट एन इंडियन सोल्जर प्लीज नोट इट डाउन आई एम रिपीटिंग द क्वेश्चन डिस्कस विद योर पार्टनर मेक अ माइंड मैप and write a few lines about 
an Indian soldier. So, pyare bachyo, asi my dear soldiers, poem pad chukke ha, samaj chukke ha, te us de adar te, tusi e prashn da uttar likhna hai. Please do your homework in a very good handwriting. So, I hope you have noted down the question. Let's move forward. Now it's time to say goodbye. So, dear students, today we have learnt the poem My Dear Soldiers written by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. It's a tribute paid to the Indian Armed Forces by the poet. And I hope you enjoyed this session. Keep learning and have a wonderful day. Thank you.